Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to episode 4 of Mean Girls Spring Break. How are you enjoying this so far? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? I am really, really liking this series. Hopefully there is not too much noise. I'm currently in Singapore and I'm really struggling for a recording space and I'm currently outside, as you can see behind me, is the pool. There's a bit of construction going on. Hopefully it's alright for you. I've got a link in the top line description. If you go and click on it, you can get 10 free gems and 10 free passes to play episode. So definitely make sure you go ahead and click on that link. But let's get started with episode four. Oh, another day in paradise. No boyfriend, no scholarship. This might be the worst I've ever felt. Me too. I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to go alone last night. What's the point? We're already disqualified. Okay, I have a crazy idea. Go to the Greek Conference Council and tell them the truth. <gasps> Regina can't compete anymore, but the VP of Delta Mu Tau is on the island and can take her place. I guess there's no harm in trying. What else do we have to lose? So yeah, Regina's stuck, stranded out on a remote island somewhere and can't get back. She's lost her boat. I appreciate you meeting me on such short notice. Of course, we're thrilled to have a U of E competing this year. So what brings you here today, Damien? Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, some circumstances have shifted and my co-delegate, Regina George, is no longer able to participate in the events. No longer able? It's a long story. I see. Unless Regina becomes able to participate, I'm afraid U of E will be dropped from the competition. As the rules state, only House Presidents are eligible to act as delegates. Oh. We're pulling for you, Damien. And, we're sincerely, and we sincerely hope Regina can rejoin your team. We've heard so much about her. We're really looking forward to putting a face to the name. Oh dear. Is he not even going to offer the whole VP thing? He didn't even offer it. You should have done. Wait, putting a face to the name? They don't know what Regina looks like. Oh, okay, clever idea, Damien. So I think we're gonna pretend to be Regina, aren't we? I like this plan. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Miss Regina George of Evanston, Illinois. <laughs> Dance on the toilet. Oh, it's me. We have got to get a picture of this. Wow, I never thought greenoid in Regina hair would look this hot, pathetic, hot. She doesn't look that different, to be honest, than what we looked like before. <laughs> Maybe Mika wouldn't have dumped me if I did this sooner. Mention Mika one more time and I will rip that wig off your head. Anyway, the key to being Regina George is more in her attitude than how she looks. Of course it is, the Regina bitch attitude. <laughs> they seriously have no idea what Regina looks like. Not a clue. Still, I can't imagine this will actually work. Why wouldn't it? Cell service and Wi-Fi is out all over the island. There's no way for them to look up, look up a picture of Regina to prove that she's not you, or that you're not her. It's a good point, that. Good point, Damien. Just like that fortune teller told you, Greenoid is no more. Blech, don't remind me. Greenoid is now officially Regina George and she is going to be even more fabulous than the original. You know what? With my own life in shambles, I don't think I'll mind taking over someone else's for a little while. Right, know who doesn't care about Greenoid's breakup with Mika? Regina. You and I both wanted me to compete as the female delegate all along and now I can. Damien and Greenoid Regina are a dream team. Hold on to your hair extensions, Stacey's, because we're coming for your $100,000 scholarship. <laughs> oh, here, are we going back to the island where Regina is? Possibly, yeah. Oh, no, look at her, she doesn't look happy. It's been 20 hours since any of us have eaten. I am beyond hungry. I told you I'm willing to hunt down that water bird and fowl rotisserie, except Janice here forbids that. She'd rather starve than eat an endangered species. How is it you haven't started whining about food? Are you hoarding snacks you haven't told us about? If I find out you have a stash of calteen bars, so help me. 
I go on a crash diet every three weeks and my body is used to nutritional trauma. I'm only cranky because I'm past my limit on you two. The feeling's mutual. If my boat doesn't drift over to St. Jezebel Island, they might not realise we're stuck. They might not even look for us. We could be trapped here forever. Oh, please. When Regina George goes missing, the world takes notice. I lost my credit card once and the bank sent an eight-man armed envoy to confirm I hadn't been kidnapped. Yes, Regina, we all know you're very important. Plus, Damien needs me for this competition. U of E doesn't stand a chance without Regina on his team. Is she always this modest? But now I'm stuck here because of them. I agreed to do this little nature walk to help them out, which is my bad because helping other people never ends well. I mean, have you seen the hairline on that girl? It's just weird. <laughs> She's such a cow. Ooh. Are we here? Are we getting away with being Regina? It's the Stacey's. Another stellar interview from the delegates of University of Beverly Hills. Thank you, ladies. I can't follow that act. Not dressed like that, you can't. Lucky for you, Regina left a full suitcase in our hotel room and I picked you out the perfect outfit. Seriously? Go, try it on. It's over there in my backpack. Oh, this is going to be a gem situation, isn't it? Woo, yes, Miss George. Now this is how we're going to slay out there. The judges will love us and the Stacey's will hate us. It's perfect. Uh, I look so Regina. Yes, let's dress like Regina for 24 gems because we do have some gems. Great idea, Damien. I feel better already. Fantastic. Now remember, the goal here is to handle this interview exactly like Regina would. How's that? With unbridled confidence and an unshakable superiority complex. <laughs> Next up, we'd like to welcome a pair of first time competitors, the delegates from the University of Evanston. Now get up there and make a good name for Regina George. And remember, not too nice. You've got a reputation to maintain. <laughs> Regina, Damien, welcome to the stage. Miss George, I'd heard of your impeccable fashion sense, but this ensemble is truly exceeding my expectations. Thank you, Cerise. It's an honor to be here. How would you describe the University of Evanston, Regina? Uh, how would Regina respond? Cocky and confident, catty and competitive, but mm, Cocky and confident, maybe? Let's do cocky and, yeah. U of E is hands down the best college in the country. And why exactly is that? Because I'm there, obviously. Maybe that wasn't the best thing to say. No, she doesn't look impressed. Ahem, yes, what Regina here means is that she was admitted to Yale, but ultimately felt that U of E had far more to offer, academically, socially. Oh, I see. Moving on to our next question. We didn't answer that first one too well, did we? Ooh, it's getting dark. I couldn't see that then because of the sun shining on it. I was like, the screen's gone blank, but it hadn't, it was just black. Um, imprisoned on an island with Regina George and the Chasman. Chasman dug up some meaty grubs. You ask nice and he'll give you a nibble. So I'm dead, yeah? I must have died. There's no other way to explain how I ended up in my own personal hell. If you want to make sure, maybe you should pee out into the ocean and swim out into the darkness. <laughs> because you can't die twice, right? And yet every time you speak, I die a thousand deaths. <laughs> ladies, ladies, we're never getting rescued. Would that be so terrible? Two beautiful women, the stars shining bright above and Chasman's alluring masculinity. It's a recipe for romance. <laughs> Don't think either of them are feeling that. I want to vomit, but my stomach is too empty. What's up? Nothing. Come on. You know we set out to be less boring today. But all we did was annihilate that taco buffet. Then spend five hours wading through the St. Jezebel duty-free mall. I know, 
they've got a real thing about being boring now, haven't they? Those were some tacos though, right? It's like we're afraid to make that leap. Like we don't have the courage to do something out of the ordinary. Hey, you two like comedy? Hate it. How do you hate comedy? That's an odd thing to say, isn't it? Kidding. Oh. <laughs> I see what you did there. Say, you'd be great up there tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Comedy open mic at Club Chortle. Are they gonna do open mic? You should do it. Me? Yeah, you would be great up there. What's more of a courageous leap than doing stand-up comedy? Stand-up comedy like, must be the scariest thing, I think, anyway. Remember, we've both been deemed U of E's most boring couple. So I'll do it, but only if you do too. You're on, girlfriend. Aw, they're so sweet, Alan and Katie. Mm, this is not like it's going very well. The thing is, no one does Regina like Regina. Put that on a shirt and wear it. I'm sorry I let us down out there. At least Sharice was into your outfit, so we've got poise covered. So you think I did okay? There was room for improvement, sure, but it's not over yet. This whole me pretending to be her thing was maybe better in theory than in practice. Oh my god, Regina George! Regina, this is Stacy, E-Y, Stacy, I-E, and Stacy, double E. In spelling and in cup size. I can see that. <laughs> They're pretty average for LA. <laughs> it's so great to finally meet you. We've heard so much about you. About me? At home? I mean, yes, everyone does. But how exactly did you hear about Regi about me? Remember, UBH was recruiting you hardcore. Oh, right. I was recruited by the Greek system at so many schools, I lost track. Yeah, uh huh. I could have sworn your file said you were much taller and skinnier and a natural blonde. Ooh. No one would make that mistake with you. Ooh, what a bitch. Ha. So that interview you gave was really something. Yeah? Dis the Stacys, kill them with kindness. Uh, let's dis the Stacys. Your foundation line is really something. Good one, Reg. So nice to see you ladies again. Regina and I have a prior engagement. Very busy of us U of E's all the time. Ta-ta! There's something up with that Regina girl. Behind that perfect skin and amazing wardrobe, that girl's got a secret. I can't put my finger on it. Are your nails still wet? <laughs> I agree. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. Ladies, we're going to make sure Regina George crashes and burns in this competition. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh, and there we go. That is the end of episode four. I'm really, really enjoying this season. I can't wait to check out episode five. Remember, if you are playing episode, to click that link down below so you can get your 10 free gems and 10 free passes. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.